A lot of you will know that most of the pictures I show of Tiny Paws and our boarding facilities are usually when they've just had a freshen up, when they've had fresh paper and hay, when they've got new fleece in, basically when there's something exciting going on. And I thought as part of the um, sort of campaign, as it were, to show the realities, I just wanted to show you that um, it's not uh, as squeaky clean and perfect as it can look in the pictures. So here, obviously, we get through a lot of hay. The hay is stored the other side of the room. Inevitably, we end up with hay all over the floor, all around the cages, all in the cages, all through the rest of the house, in the bath, in the sink, everywhere. The hay gets everywhere. This was completely clean yesterday. And you can see, yeah, not so clean now. In terms of the hay in the cages, I do give my guys and all the boarders access to piles of hay. But I do also use fleece. That does mean that we get a crossover sometimes. So I'm going to show you each of the cages because everyone's a little bit different. Some pigs live a bit tidier. So Hugo, at the moment, he's in a... A temporary setup so we've got we've got poops falling out the cage they will get hoovered up but reality is there's gonna be a few of them out again he's not been too bad at dragging his hay out you can see he likes to sit on the edge so he sits on the fleece eats the hay shreds paper that's Hugo Georges hello darling George is a bit tidier, but he spent a lot of time digging this uh, divide. So, unless you actually hold the fleece down or bind it down with clips, then, uh, yeah, expect that some pigs might dig it up a little bit. And then we've got Woody and Rupert. You can see their setup is a little bit different. So they're both still quite young, Rupert's still a baby, and Woody's, yeah, teenagery. They've got um, same size hay area, actually, as the other guys, but obviously more hay, with there being two of them. And when I set it up, there was a nice clear divide, basically in line of the, uh, in line with the bowl and with this, this edge here. That divide doesn't really exist anymore, the hay spills out here completely normal with the boarding cages we end up with hay all down there it's impossible it's impossible to keep guinea pigs and keep a tidy house okay just a reality fact check there now hello so these guys believe it or not fully cleaned out yesterday 24 hours ago hello darling oh you popcorn in so hello, this is Wilbur, hello sweetheart, and this is Hugh, and typical boys, yep, they like to make an absolute mess of everything, so you can see just how much the hay encroaches on the fleece, but it's quite simple to tidy up and make look a lot better just by using your hand or a dustpan and brush just to sweep the worst of the hay off suddenly looks a lot better and from a distance you could say it almost looks perfect when you've done the poops as well of course but can't keep piggies without there being poops okay here we have rocket and flash hello sweethearts these guys came in only 24 hours ago um they've kept i'd better say they've actually kept a pretty clean cage so loads of hay all freshly topped up um they've got their nuggets there um so technically the divide between the hay and the fleece would be about there there's the edge of the paper so it's spread a bit but actually these guys are pretty clean they've not made that much of a mess so you do get different kinds of pigs making different levels of mess and then just to show you the extreme at the other end that most people are used to when they see lovely fleecy cages these guys, Alfie and Tyrone, have 
just come in literally 10 minutes ago um this mess isn't even from them this is from me putting the hay in so just goes to show there is no easy way of keeping guinea pigs giving them what they need i.e an absolute ton of hay and keeping it tidy sometimes you've got to embrace the mess and this is quite tidy for us i will say i will admit that it's quite tidy for us it's not definitely not too bad with the exception of those poops i would say this is our day-to-day -day normal we have random bits and pieces lying around because when they're in use you know, we've got our carriers stacked there ready just in case of an emergency so it's <laughs> there we go so yeah fleece is fantastic i don't feel that i would change away from it yet but i do definitely agree that it is essential to find a way to work with both fleece and loose hay because i've done the whole hay rack thing i've done the whole picture perfect cage keeping on top of it spot cleaning twice a day now having four boys in three cages just of my own and having the borders i'm just doing myself unnecessary stress <laughs> just watching the popcorn i'm just doing myself unnecessary stress by thinking oh this has to be picture perfect the place has to be spotless the whole time no, the priority is the health of the pigs and the welfare of the pigs. If they're happy, if they're fed, and if they are in a cage that is clean enough for them, and by that I mean it's not urine soaked and it's not... <laughs> what are you doing? It's not urine soaked and it doesn't have a week's worth of poop in there. Sometimes it is not worth stressing about having the cage spotless. Sometimes you just embrace the mess. And if you're lucky, I've never been blessed, but if you're lucky, you might just get a pig who cleans up after themselves. They drag the hay onto the fleece and then they sit and eat it. Never happened to me, but um, yeah, it can happen. I'll keep dreaming. And otherwise, I'm just going to embrace the mess. Because that's life with piggies. They get everywhere. <laughs>